Welcome to our first ever OpenAI Dev Day. OpenAI just had its first developer event in the last Monday and it was very game changing. But while I was watching, I couldn't stop myself thinking about the amount of company that will be killed by this improvement. So let's take a look at it. The first thing, they started to flex in by their muscle by talking how ChatGPT becomes very popular in a very short time. And they have 2 million developers using their ABI and over 100 million people using their tools weekly. For our enterprise customers, we launched ChatGPT Enterprise, which offers enterprise-grade security and privacy, higher-speed GPT-4 access, longer context windows, a lot more. Today, we've got about 2 million developers building on our API for a wide variety of use cases doing amazing stuff, over 92% of Fortune 500 companies building on our products, and we have about 100 million weekly active users now. And ChatGPT was one of the fastest consumer products to hit 100 million monthly user mark in just a few months after the launch. Well, they then started to talk about what they're going to provide for us the new, and the first thing, the new killer, GPT-4 Turbo, is the new model they talked about what it have. Number one, context length. GPT-4 supported up to 8K, and in some cases, up to 32K context length. But we know that isn't enough for many of you and what you want to do. GPT-4 Turbo supports up to 128,000 tokens of context. That's 300 pages of a standard book, 16 times longer than our 8K context. Number two, more control. We have a new feature called JSON mode, which ensures that the model will respond with valid JSON. The model is also much better at function calling you can now call many functions at once. We're also introducing a new feature called reproducible output. You can pass a seed parameter and it'll make the model return consistent outputs. And it's also gonna get a better knowledge than the last model it already have. The new model have knowledge until the April 2023, which is this year. But the last model have knowledge until I think September 2021. All right, number three, better world knowledge. GPT-4 Turbo has knowledge about the world up to April of 2023. Not only that, but almost also you can get your own information and knowledge base and even database that to put it inside this new GPT Turbo and retrieve it. So we're launching retrieval in the platform. You can bring knowledge from outside documents or databases into whatever you're building. So this is what I was talking about, the new color for the BDF knowledge based uh, apps out there uh, will say it's goodbye for them. And not only that, but Dallas 3 GPT-4 Turbo with Vision and the uh, text-to-speech new model, will all of them will be available inside this API for GPT-4 Turbo. They also said that it's going to double the amount of token per minute and make it also cheaper. So you can send more requests, receive it faster, by a factor of 3x for prompt tokens and 2x for completion tokens starting today. So the new pricing is 1 cent per thousand prompt tokens and 3 cents per thousand completion tokens. For most customers, that will lead to a blended rate more than 2.75 times cheaper to use for GPT-4 Turbo. I mean, it is a good part. It's like if you're running an app that have a profit right now, the profit can be doubled because you're cutting the cost if you're using the new GPT-4 Turbo model, which is much, much cheaper than the normal GPT model already. Not only GPT-4 Turbo is got cheaper, but also GPT-3.5 Turbo is also got even more cheaper. Then he talked about the copyright shield program. And it's like Microsoft and Adobe. It's saying if your company using the any of the ABI of ABI and got a legal trouble, G will help you by this copyright shield program. So we're introducing copyright shield. Copyright shield means that we will step in and defend our customers and pay the costs incurred if you face legal claims around copyright infringement. And this applies both to ChatGPT Enterprise and the API. But until now, we, we didn't talk at all about the main killer of the most of the SaaS company that build on top of OpenAI, like Bootbris or any AI assistant company. Let me introduce you to GPTs. Thrilled to introduce GPT. GPTs are tailored versions of ChatGPT 
for a specific purpose. You can build a GPT, a customized version of ChatGPT for almost anything, with instructions, expanded knowledge, and actions, and then you can publish it for others to use. And here in an example from Mo and Chang on Twitter on how he did it, created uh, Exoptimizer GPT using his own Twitter and he gave it instruction, uploaded the knowledge and gave it access to web browsing, Dallas 3 and code interrupter to make it even, even more better. You can in effect program a GPT with language just by talking to it. It's easy to customize the behavior so that it fits what you want. This makes building them very accessible and it gives agency to everyone. And if your GPT is very good, they also announce a kind of app store for GBTs that you can put your GBT inside it and even make money from it. Not all people can do that. You have to be a verified builder. I don't know what is a verified builder yet, but the app market AI will launch this month. And uh, they didn't talk about like revenue percentage or all the stuff. They said that you, if your GBT become popular and people used it, you will get a cut of the revenue from it. And later this month, we're going to launch the GPT store. You can list a GPT there, and we'll be able to feature the best and the most popular GPT. Revenue sharing is important to us. We're going to pay people who build the most useful and the most used GPTs a portion of our revenue. Another one of the new color called Assistance ABI. We they take all the GBT's capability and put it inside an ABI to give it to the developer. And honestly, after seeing it, I think most of the apps that they created ABI's using Assistant either they are going to get killed or being much much cheaper to use. And there is a opportunity here if we made. If you need a good, decent assistant, and I'm going to create a video how you can create an, an assistant using JavaScript as an ABI, and I hope that you subscribe so you can see this video. The assistance is actually can be used for multiple users, not just you. You can upload a lot of custom-based uh, knowledge inside it, giving it an instruction, customize how you want it to respond for certain thing. So you can create an assistant for like an, a company role or a certain knowledge, like a students in some sort of grade, or even helping you creating certain type of images. So today we're making that a lot easier with our new Assistance API. The Assistance API includes persistent threads so they don't have to figure out how to deal with long conversation history, built-in retrieval, code interpreter, a working Python interpreter in a sandbox environment, and of course, the improved function calling that we talked about earlier. First, I'm gonna switch over to the new Assistance Playground. Creating an Assistant is easy. You just give it a name, some initial instructions, a model, in this case, I'll pick GPT-4 Turbo. And here, I'll also go ahead and select some tools. I'll turn on Code Interpreter and Retrieval and Save. And that's it. Our assistant is ready to go. But that's not it. You also announced the Dallas 3 ABI is finally out. And you can use it and it's have like built-in moderation tools, output regulation range from 1024 by 1024 to 1792 by 20 by 1024 in different formats and the pricing is like four percent per image and also there is the new text speech ABI that is called audio ABI it have a sex preset voice alloy echo fable Enox, nova and shimmer and with our new text-to-speech model you'll be able to generate incredibly naturally, natural sounding audio from text in the API with six preset voices to choose from. I'll play an example. Did you know that Alexander Graham Bell, the eminent inventor, was enchanted by the world of sounds? His ingenious mind led to the creation of the graphophone, which etched sounds onto wax, making voices whisper through time. My own opinion about what is all happening, I think 
opening eye is locking market and how it's happening like for example like pop race right now and company like it that build custom bolts using obi it's kind of right now on the obsolete age and it's kind of bad for them and also like remember when we had this swarm of amount of, of pdfs shared that you can talk with upload any pdf and you can share it with it see the source like you did with alima right now this also like it's gone like you don't need this anymore and it's not unique and the ai assistant right now it was unique at first that you can create ai assistant app on top of ChatGPT, but right now it's not that unique anymore and the direction that openai is taking is like amazon they try to be the monopoly of for ai like you can build on top of their own abis whatever what you want or user platform for the personal user instead of using the ABI, which is the, I think the direction they're trying to push the normal user for. Like you don't need to learn ABIs, you don't need to build a, a, a this assistant using ABIs at all. Just talk to our chat GBT model and it will build a GBT custom made for you and upload whatever what you want and talk to it like a normal. But I think there is going to be even more apps is coming, more creative apps, more complex and niche down apps using this kind of assistance tool. Anyway, this is my humble opinion about what is the dev event, the dev day event of Auburn AI. And I am planning to make an AI assistant. Uh, maybe I am going to display the capability of it, how to use it, how to build with it using JavaScript or Python. I'm not sure yet which one I should use, but I think it would be GS because it's a little bit faster. And if you like to know how to do it, like stick around, subscribe. I'm going to make this video very soon. As soon as I'm done with studying it and creating something decent with it. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.